In this video, I'm gonna show you how to merge two accounts within your chart of accounts in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. So I'm back on the chart of accounts and now I'm going to show you how to merge two accounts together. So let's say you're looking at your P&L like this one and you come across two accounts that are pretty similar. Like here I've got software and I have software and subscriptions. Um, maybe I don't really want these separated out and I want them merged together. Um, I could have accidentally created a new one or uh, whatever the reason is that you have both and I don't want both anymore and I want them to be together as one. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So back on your chart of accounts, what you're gonna do is go to the one that you want to get rid of. Um, let's say I wanna keep my software and subscriptions account, but I want to get rid of the software one. So here's my software account and I'm gonna hover over the cog icon and I'm gonna click delete. And if you've watched a previous video, you would have seen this come up, but you'll get this pop-up message that says you cannot delete this account as you have things associated with it. You can either bulk update these accounts um, or delete the transactions individually. So when you want to merge two accounts together, QuickBooks Online has a really nice feature where, where it allows you to just um, change the names and merge them together and it just mushes them together. So Zoho does not have that option. So to do that, you need to do this bulk update. So if you click this link that says bulk update, it'll take you to a page of all the transactions that are in that particular account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select them all. I click this checkbox at the top. It selected all of the transactions that are in here. And I'm gonna click this update button down here at the bottom. It's going to ask me what account I want. So my new account um, is going to be this software and subscriptions. Let me find that. Here it is. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm just going to click replace. It's gonna take just a second. You can see over here it's in progress. And when it's done, all of those transactions will now appear in the other account. All right, now you can see that it's been completed. If I go back to my PL and refresh, I'm gonna scroll down. You'll see that now I just have the software and subscriptions. If I go back to my chart of accounts, I can scroll down and find my software account. It's empty. If I scroll down some more and find that software and subscriptions account, here it is. There are all my transactions. So when you're done merging, you're, on, you're gonna wanna go back to the empty account, the one that you tran transferred everything out of, and you will want to delete it. Um, or mark as inactive. So I wanna get rid of it, there's nothing in it, I'm just going to delete it. And it'll ask you, are you sure? And you'll just click this okay button. And there you go, the account has been deleted and now all of those transactions are in that other account. And that's all you need to do if you're looking to merge accounts um, and keep one and get rid of the other. I hope this is helpful. I will see you on the next video.